Today we've got new drivers for 2023. We've got the Paradigm models, both the standard and the Triple Diamond. We're testing it versus the predecessors, the Rogue ST Max and the Rogue ST Triple Diamond. I'm gonna hit some shots on TrackMan and Cameron's gonna help me break down all of the data. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a like. And you tell us in the comments what you think about Callaway's new Paradigm drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Cameron Fitzer, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka. And we've got new drivers from Callaway, yep. the Paradigm models for 2023, the Standard and the Triple Diamond. Right. Going to compare them to the Rogue ST from previous year, uh, the Max and the Triple Diamond LS. Right. So I think what's unique about Callaway this year, there there's not like the Max LS head that they had done the, pra the past two generations right. with the Epic Max LS, Rogue ST Max LS. They've kind of realized that they can add that low spin element into their sort of high MOI model, right. the standard model with the Paradigm. And then you have the Triple Diamond, which is still that kind of compact, low spinning, almost players type model. Right. So they've got that back in as well, but they've really changed up a lot. Just visually, you can see a lot different, yep. but then there's also some things internally that they've, that they've definitely changed. Yeah, I, like you said, just visually right off the gate, I think one of the cool things that I'm excited by from the Paradigm, even just the a traditional model there is that movable weight, mm -hmm. the ability to, to have a little more mm -hmm. discretionary weight where we can give a player yeah. more draw or fade bias is definitely something that's helpful right. for myself and other guys that are in the, the fitting world as well too. So right. I know that's something you guys are very excited about. Right. And then they've also tweaked up the uh, the jailbreak design, which has been so good for, for Callaway. I mean, yep. I think that, that first came out the GBB Epic series. Yep. I think that was 2017 and <sighs> so good. And so they've refined it. They've optimized it a couple times since right. and reshaped it a little bit but now it's it's a little bit more pyramid like but yep. it's still gonna you know really optimize and stabilize that face Definitely. that impact along with all of the artificial intelligence in there uh but then the the club face that 360 face cup design that's new for drivers yep. uh this year so adding that ball speed um and i think a lot of callaway loyalists out there probably looking forward to an epic line this right. year being that you know 17 19 and 21 were all a variation of the epic right. line paradigm now yep. and they're saying it's a paradigm shift yep. in driver design yep. so i guess we're going to see today how true that is with the testing definitely but really exciting i, I like this kind of look to it it's a little unique yep. paradigm the 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 term for it little unique as well yep. but uh i'm curious i guess i don't i mean i'm i have no idea really what to expect here other yep. than you know, we did. We saw Rogue do really well in the fittings. Yeah, I would say the same. Definitely had a lot of success uh, with a lot of players in store here with kind of the Rogue ST line. Um, I would say more of the same. Really don't have a ton of expectations for this. More yeah. so just intrigued to kind of see what we see in terms of differences yeah. and performance between these models. Yeah, we'll talk look and feel. We'll talk numbers, yep. and then uh, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna hit some shots. We'll get all that conversation, and we'll come back here and wrap it all up. How I like it. Should be good. Oh, it's hit so good. Perfect. It might actually work. I just swung way slower. <laughs> That was just a smoothie, good swing. All right, so Cameron, uh, yep. that's five kind of good ones with each Rogue ST Max Paradigm. I have to say visually, lots going on. Yeah, a lot lots going, going on. on. Uh, Rogue ST Max, you know, it's got the matte uh, kind of finish on the crown. And it's just, the shape is so much more, more stretched elongated. back, right? Yeah, it's yep. more elongated towards the back. There's right. way more weight farther back, yep. um, and which, is, to me, it looked like slight, slightly deeper profile on the Paradigm too. Less stretched back, deeper top to bottom. Is that, yeah, 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 that yeah. kind of what you saw as well? Yeah, I mean, I almost, because I went from hitting Paradigm to this, and I really thought this was like more than 460 CC. Right. That's what it looked like. Right. I mean, I felt like I was hitting a bigger driver. Um, yeah. But it's funny that I didn't launch it any higher or anything. But right. I think, and also something visually on that, that leading edge and kind of the material on the face yep. into the crown on the Paradigm, that's mm -hmm. going to be, I think, probably something some 
golfers that are particular about what they see have to right. get used to. There's kind of that right. blackish gray, and then it merges into that kind of shiny navy yeah. blue on the crown. So that's a little bit interesting and different, I think. I would but, agree. Um, Shape-wise, much more compact, and I think that's how they incorporated that LS element into it. I would agree. And I, again, that was kind of just a neutral setup. One other thing that we didn't really touch on a ton that I'll kind of pull up in our dispersion circle as well, too, ability of ease of use turning that ball over with yeah. the, the Rogue ST Max versus the Paradigm. And again, mm -hmm. granted, we've got a movable weight here that we didn't really play around with where maybe we could add some draw bias to get to that same spot. But for you, we definitely saw a little more ease of use turning that over with the Rogue yeah. ST. Yeah, so I think I'm curious, though, on when we get to the kind of the, the triple diamonds. Right. I mean, we, it's weird. We saw relatively similar numbers here with the Paradigm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, club speed, ball speed, smash, spin, pretty similar. It's a bit more carry with yep. the Paradigm. Interesting yep. there. Uh, so I'm I'm curious on these triple diamonds, though, because this is these are the ones, too, where, like, these players hitting this driver probably chasing some distance Definitely. At, a, at a high rate, like, High swing speed, high ball speed. So absolutely, um, this is where the big distance numbers will pay off. Is with these models. Definitely, I would agree with that for sure. Much better. Swing. It's gonna hook again. All right, Cameron, testing complete. Mm -hmm. Paradigm and Rogue ST drivers. Um, I have to bring up visually what was very different between them. Right. Um, we've talked a little bit already about the um, the max kind of models or the standard model, but yep. I think it's weird that the the triple diamond LS is almost like it's compact, but it's like triangular. Triangular, right? Yeah, it's a little bit more rounded and like a, a traditional shape, if you will, with the with the paradigm. With the paradigm, I think. Yep. So I think that might be a more appealing to you know the better player that's right. trying to chase a lower launching type right. of driver, especially where look and feel is a big piece right. as well too. Yeah, something we say with with all the fittings in here. Yeah. Regardless of performance, performance is great. Has to perform on course as well too. But if you look down at something, you don't like the right. look out, uh, look of it. We're already off to a bad start right. there. Right. So. so I almost think like the there's a, a triangular element a little bit more with the Rogue ST models, yeah. and they've kind of rounded it off a little bit better with Paradigm. So yep. um, I think that will appeal to a lot of golfers as Definitely. well. Uh, but then numbers wise, we got to hit all of them at nine degrees aloft, right. um, 70 gram X uh, Kylie yep. shaft. So same shaft, same loft with each one. So we can kind of look at the numbers here. Right. Um, I got, I think I got a little bit slower as I hit the triple diamonds, but we can see a pretty good comparison across the board. We see that right. spin go down a little bit with the triple diamond heads. Definitely. Um, we see ball speed maybe go up a touch yep. with the triple diamond heads yep. as well. I'd say a lot of that probably just mm -hmm. due to that center of gravity being farther forward yep. allows you to, to get that energy transfer a right. little bit better. Right, despite, you know, Paradigm Triple Diamond, for example, I think most efficient yep. because it had the highest ball speed, but I believe it was actually the lowest of the club speed. Right, exactly. So you see a little bit more energy at, like you mentioned, energy at impact there being transferred. Right. Um, and we can look at, I mean, the map and things too, but what else jumps out at you here from what you're looking at? I think as far as what, what I would say, almost a case of definitely a, a lower spin head here. And I yeah. think this is definitely a case where more so reason for the player to come in and get fit. Cause hey, if you're a lower spin guy, maybe you want something that's gonna launch a little bit higher. You gotta come in and figure out what head style is gonna yeah. be best for you. Cause looking through all these, you being a high speed guy, probably a case where on paper, you're a pretty good fit for that triple diamond head. but the performance that we had out of just the standard paradigm was probably yeah. the best out of the four models that we yeah. hit. I'm looking at like the launch and the, the height and the landing angle of that yep. or that standard paradigm mo model was really good for me. Yep. Uh, I, I, and it could have been something just visually for me or like subconsciously, but right. I was able to maybe get a little bit more height and, and launch it a little bit higher, maybe swing a little bit more up on. I don't know right. exactly what the case was, but uh, see the landing angle for the last three ones I hit, which were Rogue ST Max and then both triple diamonds, right. 32 to 31. 35 on the 35 paradigm. with the paradigm so yeah, definitely a little bit higher mm -hmm. even so, a case where nine degree drivers on all of them same thing here where you see dynamic loft was on the higher right. side as, as well too right so i mean it could have been something myself visually that maybe other golfers wouldn't have but right. there was i think the paradigm 
standard model, I think they've engineered it in a way that is going to fit a lot of players. Especially with that movable weight adjustability yeah. with kind of their OptiFit hosel as well too is gonna to be something that's really right. nice for a lot of players for sure. Right, because in the past, the triple diamond model has been really for, it's kind of like a, you know, the TSR4, where it's, yeah. it's a pretty small percentage of the market that would actually fit into that. Right. Uh, but then Cowboys always had that max LS head the last couple of years that has been then catered towards maybe right. higher speed players that still need more forgiveness. Definitely. I think you're going to get that in this kind of standard paradigm. Head. I would agree. I think, I mean, seeing the numbers here, it, I mean, I'm really impressed with that one in particular. I, I would say 100% same thing. I, I think all of these have kind of shown the performance benefits of each where we still got the lower spin, lower <laughs> yeah. launch aspect of the triple diamond stuff. But also aspect of the paradigm where it's easier to launch, but not necessarily overly spinny either. Right. We still get the distance out of it. We have more right. of a playable tra trajectory where it's not diving out of the air right. for you. Right. And I actually, I think I may have actually hit the paradigm the worst. I mean, look at Smash Factor, right. not as good. My strikes weren't as efficient. And sure, the ball speed wasn't as high, but to see the total numbers we could bring up dispersion too and see right. how consistent it was as well, I think that's a pretty good answer there as well. I mean, I have those paradigm shots are all right, right around that center line, right? So, right. Um, and then you, I think we can talk about this map a little bit too, in the sense that um, we see the Rogue ST Max and the Rogue ST Triple Diamond. Definitely. A little bit leaning left there. Definitely. So something maybe to consider for golfers um, if you're try fighting that that right miss. Right, for sure. The Rogue ST Series. I know even the Max was really successful in the standard head. There's also the yep. Max D head. Right. But those models were really good at fighting that kind of right side of the course. Definitely, yeah. Simply just from what we saw with, with kind of the, the shots that you hit, definitely a little bit more ease of use turning mm -hmm. it over with kind of last year's Rogue ST line versus the Paradigm yeah. stuff. Yeah, and then, you know, Paradigm this year, it looks like there might even be a bias to the right. I right. Mean, again, we have more testing to do and yep. more things to find out, more fittings for you to conduct. Some adjustability but, to play with too but, as well, yeah, right? So we'll, we have more to learn. This is early on in the process, mm -hmm. but, um, I, I really good stuff in paradigm yeah. here. I, I think I'm impressed. I like the look a lot. Yep. Um, and I think uh, the the shape is refined and looks really good as yeah. well. So I think players will like that. Um, any other thoughts here on the paradigm drivers, Cameron? Not a ton. Honestly, again, same thing. Just kind of looking forward to, to getting these in players' hands and getting some more product testing mm -hmm. in where we can kind of see improvements and, and changes right. from older generations, even yep. other models, other brands included within that yep. as well. I mean, golfers can find more of an in-depth dive in our swing report videos on the paradigm drivers. Um, also, we do have some, you know, brand versus brand driver testing right. coming up here as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But uh, golfers schedule that fitting a second swing for a new driver this year. I work with someone like Cameron in our store or our online fitting team will also take care of you through an online chat or a phone conversation. Get you dialed in for the right driver, hitting longer, straighter shots and shooting better scores. Definitely. Uh, Cameron, thanks again for joining. Really Absolutely. good stuff. Again, drivers to be excited about here this year. For sure.